Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of the Wolfsburg career mode. Now this is the second time I'm recording this because my mic did not pick up any audio whatsoever. I don't know what happened, I don't know if it was just the program, um, like just it just didn't pick up the audio so I just sat through a whole video talking and then yeah I didn't even realise. Um, it didn't record, so yeah, that's pretty annoying. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, because obviously I'm watching the gameplay back and not looking at the software, so if it does it again, I'll be very annoyed. But anyway, thank you guys so much for the support on the first episode. It was really, really good to see um, over like 200 views and then like 40 plus comments in the comment section um, of all the transfer suggestions. Now, I'm, I do make two signings later on in the episode, so you have to stick, ra stick around for that. And... Um, yeah, like I said, I really appreciate the support. Hopefully, we can make this series good. Uh, if you can leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new to the channel with that post notification on so you don't miss a video. Now, moving on into the first game against Brighton. <sighs> we give away a penalty, which is really, really... Oh, it's just so annoying to concede because I was just trying to block the cross. But anyway, um, Castile in goal. Can he save it? Yes, he can. What a save that was right in the bottom corner. Um, from Castile's there, really, really nice save um, from him. Uh, we tried to clear the ball, doesn't really uh, go away, comes straight back at us, but then eventually we do manage to clear it our, and go on a counter attack our, of our own. Now, uh, Wegstorst or whatever his name is um, plays a nice ball over the top to um, Brecalo, uh, who goes to take a shot inside and he uh, completely um, misses it. Because uh, the defender did block it really well. Anyway, moving on into the 31st minute, um, Gulavogi plays a nice ball down to Ntep, who uh, takes a nice touch into his stride, and mm, such an awful cross. Um, it, it, that was a cross, don't worry, it wasn't a chip shot or anything like that. Um, anyway, we're in the ball back with our right back. Um, Gulavogi, again, getting involved, plays a nice ball down to Brakello, plays it inside to, I believe that was our striker, I'm not too sure, but it was a very poor shot straight at the keeper. And we move on again in Tep now, down to the uh, left back who goes to whip a ball in. It was going to the back post but unfortunately um, the centre back was able to clear it. Uh, but we do come straight back, Arnold drills one from the edge of the box and it forces the keeper to make a decent little save there. Otherwise that probably would have gone in the bottom corner. So yeah, we did, uh, as you can see from a different angle there, we did get a chance there. Corner, whipped in, no one's near the front post where I normally aim my corners for. So if someone was there that probably would have gone in. I'm not too sure. Anyway, moving on. That was the first half. Not unlucky to not get a goal in that half, in, if I'm being honest. Um, make a great tackle here to win the ball back. And it's a great first time pass from Mali, who uh, gives it to Ntep, whips it in. It's such a teasing cross, that, because it looked like it was going out, and then it's just, like, dipped down towards the keeper's hands, uh, but he punched it away uh, easily. Anyway, really annoying goal here. Really, is a, is a Cuiedo, or however you fully pronounce his name drills one into the top corner and yeah it's just it's just not ugh, especially because the keeper i think got a touch so it was it was kind of annoying but anyway moving on into the next part of um, this game wow how has Bra Brakello not scored there um in tep plays a really nice ball across and Brakello puts it wide on the like half volley Blazikowski now has the ball here, um, touches it inside, Gilavogi off to Mali who takes a shot and it's a really nice block from Stevens, I do believe that was. Um, yeah, like I said, really nice block, um, but we do in, in fact get a corner, um, our striker's just come on, gets his first touch of the game and it hits the crossbar. So yeah, it was kind of unlucky not to get a goal from that. Blazikowski, 92nd minute, goes to whip it in, unfortunately we can't get a goal and Gilavogi, oh my god, what was that? He's just tried to put it into the top corner of a finesse shot and he balloons it wide. Anyway, that was the first game. We unfortunately lose 1-0. Moving on into this second game against Sampdoria. Unfortunately, the first 10 minutes or so was um, actually cut out because my uh, computer crashed again. I don't know what's happening with that. I need to probably get it serviced or something just to check because um, I'm not too sure what the problem is. Anyway, in Tep, going in on goal there. It was a really nice effort from him. Um... Unfortunately not, to, unfortunate not to get a goal. Um, clearance here, straight to Quagliarella's feet, and it goes straight into that top corner. Um, yeah, not the best of goals to concede, considering the clearance was so cheap to give away. Anyway, 
Um, moving on into this 36th minute, we're one on one, been near enough, and the striker, he's just so bad. I just don't enjoy using him at all. Uh, balloons over the crossbar there, and Arnold loses the ball, tries to win it back, just can't, and um, they get a chance here. Great save from uh, Castile there, otherwise, they probably would have gone 2 0 up because, uh, yeah, that close, you're not ready, shouldn't be really missing from there. Anyway. They have a corner, play it short. I don't know what this player was trying to do. Uh, eventually the ball comes to the edge of the box. He goes to shoot and it's a save for Castile. It's very comfortable on, at that as well. We go on the counter-attack straight away of William here, who plays a lovely through ball. What a through ball that is in behind their defence. And um, Brokello, one-on-one with the keeper, scores. Really nice finish, really nice counter-attacking goal. Uh, I seem to score a lot of counter-attack goals in my career modes. Not just this one. Not just the Cardiff one, and also the UV one. It's, I just always seem to play like that is my style of play. It's just counter attack and football. How quick can I get up the other end, and then if I can score, then great. Um, that's what I feel like. I don't. I've seen a few comments about that saying about my counter attack and play. Anyway, um, Blazkowski here running on down the line, past the left back, hits the post. We get the rebound with our striker who has just come on. Well, not just come on. Um, who came? Well, actually, yeah, just came on in the second half. I'm pretty sure I made all the subs in the um, at half time. Anyway, Blazikowski really impressed me there. Um, I didn't, I wasn't expecting him to go all the way, like because he obviously is getting a bit old now. If everyone remembers him in the Dortmund days, uh, he used to be a great player. Anyway, I'm not saying he isn't now, but yeah, he's uh, aging, I, sh I should say. Anyway, get a chance here um, with uh, Stefan whips it in, uh, keep up nice dive down to the ball unfortunately we couldn't actually uh, get the ball to Blazikowski which who was the intended, intended target anyway moving on they play some really nice football stupid foul to give away from Brooks there I was sliding to make a block to like stop the ball from uh, reaching that player and unfortunately after he's got the ball and he's kicked it away uh, I take him out so yeah free kick boom that was a really nice strike Castils was no way nowhere near getting that what a strike, hits the crossbar, and we go on a counter-attack of our own. Ball gets played over the uh, back line of the defence. Blazikowski, again, uh, fresh on the pitch for this half. Um, gets absolutely taken out there uh, as he was trying to put that cross in. At first, I thought it was just a poor cross from Blazikowski, but yeah, it wasn't. We got a free kick, play it edge of the box um, to, uh, I don't know, I think that's one of our centre-backs. Anyway, the left-back takes a shot on there. I did think that came off our, I think that's Stefan, the left-winger. I thought it came off him, but it turns out it didn't because um, we do actually get a corner. Uh, we were put in again with Arnold, front post, looping over the crossbar again. Unfortunate, unfortunate not to get a goal there because... Um, it was a really nice header, one of those glancing headers towards the back post, but unfortunately we couldn't keep it down. And we um, break in the 90th minute here um, with a ball of genius from Arnold there to Stefan, who runs down the line. I could have cut it there, all there, all there. <laughs> I didn't. I, went, I was the greedy option there to go alone to try and get the nice goal. But we do get a corner. Can we get something from this corner? It was a poor delivery. Uh, the left back does pick it up eventually when he meets it. Drives on through. I was like, you know what? It's near the end of the game. I'll just shoot. And um, yeah, that's the end of the game. We do take it down a 2-1 win against Sampdoria. Now into some transfers. Right, guys. It is time to make a brand new signing to Wolfsburg. And it's going to be our first signing of the campaign. Right. I've got a few, like, um, suggestions that were in the comment section, which I do appreciate. But those two I don't want to get. Milik, I've already used. So I don't want to get him. Now, what I want to do is get these two in and replace the two strikers that we have because, obviously, you've seen the games. In the preseason games, I just don't enjoy using them. So, I'm going to go for um, De Jong uh, from PSV and I'm also going to go for this AC Milan striker, uh, uh, Cutrone. Cutrone, there we go. Now, what I'm going to try and do is send off one of my strikers, which I've just signed, see if they want him. And 12 million, yeah, boy. Uh, let's counter it though. I just want to go down a bit. Let me just go down to like 10 million plus 10 million for him. Okay, that's fine. Selling clause, I don't mind. Accept that. Boom. Now, what I'm probably going to do is have either him starting or Luke de Jong starting. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with it. Um, but we'll just see what they want in terms of contracts and roles. Now, if I put rotation, will he get annoyed? Important. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. 
Okay. Five year contract, yep, that's perfect. Just what I want. Uh this yeah, I don't need don't want that. Wages now he's already on fifty four, so I'm gonna give him you know what, I'll give him six oh not seventy, sixty two. Sign a bonus, you can have a 580 bonus. And then uh, the, the number of goals you score. If you score 10 goals, it'll give you 400k. 400k plus. Uh, submit that offer. Uh, and there's it. accepted it. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. If we move over into the striker to get Luke the Jong now. Now this one's probably going to be a bit cheaper. I'm going to try and send off the other striker as well. It's quite bad, but um, I just really don't like using them. It's, you know, I I, uh, I feel bad, but at the same time I just don't like using them. So there we go, and I will accept that as well. Happy days. So basically replacing two strikers with two new strikers. So it's not all that bad. Um, fairly happy of how it's going so far. I probably will make some more signings. Crucial, see, I, I'll be starting with Jong then. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I will be making more signings in different positions. You know, I've got um, I've got a right back, a cam that I'm looking at. Ooh, a counter. How about three years? Three years, two or thirty. There we go. Um, disregard and then boom. That's actually not that bad. I'll accept that straight away. So. Now we've signed those, obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of different um, right back, centre mids, cams, um, and stuff like that. I'm going to leave them for now, we're going to move over to the squad hub, and we're going to go, obviously, Luke the Jong's already there, ah, oh, he's there as well, okay. So, not too shabby. Now, I'm looking to upgrade the right back, just to drop him down to the bench. Um, maybe a possible centre, but we've got Bruma though, so we don't really need to get a new centre back in, left back I'm pretty happy with, same with left wing and right wing, cam I just want to get another cam in really, and maybe a new centre mid as well, just to, because like, obviously we don't have that many, we have like one centre mid who's a sub, so yeah, I mean I'm pretty happy with those two signings for now, um, there, like I said there will be more signings, so um, make sure to uh, stick around for those in the future episodes, now we're going to head into the um, game against uh, Monaco in the I think it's quarterfinals of the um, of the preseason tournament. So yeah, thanks for um, listening to the transfers, and I will see you guys in the highlights. Right, guys, here we are against Monaco, moving on into the semi-finals, not the f uh, quarterfinals, which I thought it was. Um, uh, I didn't realize it goes straight to a semi-final in the um, international. Uh, sorry, not international. Well, yeah, it is a European International Cup, uh, the preseason tournament. Anyway, moving on. Straight from the kickoff, we win the ball back. Some great football here. And the, the right back was in no man's land there. And Tep across tries to get it to De Jong. De Jong tries to go for the spectacular there on his debut. Um, really nicely kept in from Intep here. Plays the ball into De Jong. Takes a big stride there. Cuts back inside. Tries to play it across, does so. Arnold down to uh, Braca, Braca, oh my god, uh, Bracalo, Bracello, Bracello. There we go. Sorry, I always pronounce his name wrong. Like every time I go to say it, I just double guess. Anyway, we have got the ball, Bracello there <laughs> um, into Arnold. Arnold down to Gilvogi. Plays a beautiful uh, spreaded ball to Intep, who went to dry drive, drive at first time, and let me tell you, he was not far off. Um, really good signs in the first 20 minutes of this game. We're sl slowly starting to improve off the um, first results of this like preseason tournament, and like I do find it much better playing the games instead of simming them like I do in my other, like I did in my other career modes. Because for a team like Wolfsburg, especially if you've never used a team like this, like it does help to get used to the players and the team and see who's good, who's not, instead of doing it in your first game of the Bundesliga. Anyway. Second half here, first half wasn't great in terms of action, but in Tep there, driving on in in the uh, first uh, first bit of the uh, second half, and um, comes to uh, Gulavogi, plays it to Mali, into in Tep, who goes for a shot, gets blocked, back to um, in Tep somehow, and it uh, hits the post. If, if that didn't hit the keeper, De Jong would have had a tap in there, but unfortunately it did hit the keeper, and we um, were unfortunate not to score. What a ball this is, by the way, and how... How has this gone in? He scored like a scissor kick from literally the byline. Like, I just don't get it. Nasser Chadley of all people. Anyway, 
Um, De Jong cuts inside, could have been a penalty there if he went down. Intep went to cross, flicks it back to Gullivogi, who tries to flick it back to him. And somehow it just ends up being a shot. I don't know how. But yeah, anyway, not great, um, not a great game for us so far. Anyway, great chance here, golden chance. Tried to drill it across. I probably should have been selfish and shot. Gullivogi goes for the shot on the first time volley. Uh, but the ball is literally up in space. But by like, the when, when he went to shoot, the ball was so high up. I probably shouldn't have tried the shot there. Anyway, Intep gets the ball, whips the ball in eventually, I think. Yeah, he does. Literally, it hits the crossbar in the 89th minute, and the rebound is saved by the keeper again. I just, so much was happening in this time. I tried to tackle him, and I completely missed it. And Sadibe just runs away with the ball, and I can't keep up. Well, I can keep up, but I just can't get the ball back. Anyway, that is it. Unfortunately, we get knocked out in the semi finals of the preseason tournament, so. Moving on into the Bundesliga for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment your transfer suggestions and thoughts on the video. And until next guys' time, I will see you guys next time. Peace!